Hello everybody. So this is a very simple animation of our button that we'll be doing today. And as you can see here, the demo, it shows that it grows and have some effects like uh, bouncing. So as usual, start your new Android project, give it a name. I'll give mine simple animation. And then I'll click next, next, choose empty activity leave all the rest and go to finish okay okay so now our project have been done already and i go to activity main and i'll delete the text that is already there and i'll put a button i will give it some constraint and then i will change the text to uh, to show that this is our button okay and also I will change the size of the text so it will be around 20 SP well so it will be looking like that but I want to change the uh, the I want to change the color of the background of our button so it will be it can be seen clearly now we choose this color right here and let's see okay and then I will go and put an on click method here which will give it a name tap to animate and as you can see right now it shows that the method is not defined on the main activity so I will have to alt return and it will be made on the on my main activity Java so in here I will just declare the button 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 find view by D button now as usual you have to import this button by keep clicking alt Alt enter or option return so we are going to create our animation here final animation and we need to import also this class here which will be equal to animation I'll give it a name animation and animation utils lo load animation context will be this on our activity and r dot named the bounds now as you can see here we don't have this resource already so we will create them later for now just let it be like that button we'll say we'll start our animation on the button by writing that okay so now we are going to our resource folder and we'll create a folder which is called anim a n i m android resource resource directory and remember it have to be anim okay press okay and inside it you should create an uh, go to new animation resource file I'll give it a name bounce okay so right here we'll need to add some code okay which will a scale code which will be responsible to scale our button size there now duration will be three seconds from X scale it will scale from the size will scale from 0 0.4 okay I'll use 0 0.5 from scale 0 0.5 to X scale 1 and also I'll do the same from Y scale 0 0.4 and to Y scale which will be 1 Alright, we need to set off uh, to set our pivot also, which will be 50%. Pivot, pivot for X and Y, both of them will be 50%. 
All right, so that's done there. When we go to main activity, all those errors are gone. Okay, now let's try to see. If we tap our button on click, tap, and as you can see, it is scaling. But this one is, since we are running on an emulator here, so it it's, it's very choppy animation, so you can try to run it on your uh, physical device. Okay, so that's just scaling. We also need to bounce button. And so I'll, I'll create another a Java class here, which I'll call it my bounce interpolator. This bounce interpolator, it will implement interpolator okay and when you've done that you see that it will ask you implement the methods and you can click the out out inter or option return and uh, implement those methods now so first of all I'll declare some variables here we have private double which I call it my amplitude this will define the amplitude of my of my bounce and also we need a frequency so private double my frequency which will define the frequency of your bouncing how many times okay now I need to create a, a constructor here for my bounce interpolator class double amplitude double uh, frequency so I do that these two parameters and then inside there I will put my amplitude which will be equal to amplitude and my frequency will be equal to frequency all right on the uh, interpolation we are going to give time time as a parameter inside our inside our method here we're going to say return float okay minus one month the power of math.e against time over my amplitude this one will be times method cos of my frequency cosine of my frequency times time plus one okay so this one here will be I think will be about it we need to change the our on click method here tap to animate to also use our my bounce interpolator so my bounce interpolator I will give it a name interpolator which is equal to new my bounce interpolator amplitude I'll give it I'll give you a value of amplitude and frequency there and then animation our set interpolator to our animation okay now when we run this all right now when we tap you see it's bouncing Right, so as you can see, this is an emulator, so the, the animation looks choppy and not really good, but when you run it on your physical device, it will look good. Alright, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.